Hi everyone, this Dungeon Blast guide will teach you how to use each of the four classes, where to go and what to do to complete this PQ as quickly as you can. So first, let's begin with the Thief class. Once you start the PQ, press Haste which is on your shift key. Then proceed to the second platform and stay there until you are level 5. Once you are level 5, ignore the mixed golem and exit through the top left portal. So your shadow partner skill on your Z or Z key will be unlocked, so remember to use it. In this map, stay on the top most platform until you are level 10. Once you are level 10, go to the top right portal and kill the mixed golem. Once the mixed golem is defeated, Return back and proceed to kill the zombie Mushmum. Uh, thieves deal more damage if they are attacking monsters from behind due to the assassination passive skill that is unlocked at level 10. So that's the skill on the 4th slot. So try to attack from behind as much as you can. When the zombie Mushmum is defeated, exit through the bottom left portal and fight monsters here till you are level 17. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you go in this map as long as you have monsters to kill. At level 17, climb up to the topmost platform together with your party. Now you'll want to wait on the rope until the warrior is there because he has the iron wheel skill which will grant you stuns, otherwise you get knocked off. So you see that he applied it here, but I missed my chance and I ended up getting knocked off the rope. So do be careful and alert. Remember to apply haste as well because your skill will probably be expiring by then. Now, the Dungeon Toro Defender has 90% final damage reduction if you hit him from the front, where his shield is at. So try to stay behind him as much as you can. Once the boss is defeated, you should be at level 19 and you can proceed with your party to the final boss uh, which is located at the middle right portal. For the Abyssal Balrog, same as the other bosses, just stay behind and attack it with your Savage Blow until the boss is defeated and you are done with the PQ. For archers, at the start of the PQ, buff everyone with sharp eyes. Head up and stand on the steps so that you are able to shoot the Dark Stone Golem with your skill until you reach level 5. If the Golem does not spawn, you can just wait or help kill monsters with the Thief until it respawns. At level 5, exit through the top left portal. Head down and defeat tricks that spawn in the mid right section. You can clear monsters to your left while waiting for the drake to respawn. When you reach level 10, head back to kill the mixed golem with the thief. Use your hurricane skill that is on your X key to take down the mixed golem, then return to fight the zombie mushmum. So since archers have a larger attack range, you can maintain a distance from the bosses to attack them more safely. After defeating the zombie Mushmum, head to the bottom left portal and attack monsters here until you are level 17. So same with the thief, it doesn't really matter where you go as long as you have monsters to kill. Once you are level 17, head to the top platform to fight the dungeon Toro Defender. Stay behind the Toro Defender and defeat the boss. Remember to rebuff your sharp eyes for your party as necessary. When the Toro Defender is defeated, proceed to the middle right portal to fight and defeat the Abyssal Balrog and you are done with the PQ. Now, the Warrior is one of the more challenging and busy classes in this PQ, so I will take it slow. At the start, stay on the bottom floor and attack monsters until you are level 5. Once you reach level 5, go to the top left portal and then head towards the bottom few lanes to defeat monsters there until you are level 10. At level 10, Dragon Roar is unlocked. Go to the middle lanes and use Dragon Roar constantly until you are level 13. The Magician should be following you to heal you because Dragon Roar will consume HP. At level 13, head down to fight Zombie Mushmum. Use Monster Magnet to draw aggro so that the boss faces you more often, allowing the thief to attack from behind and deal more damage. 
whenever you see the Marsh Mum jump, immediately use your Iron Wheel skill to grant a short iframe to your party members nearby to avoid death. Your attacks have a short delay and you may be unable to Iron Wheel in time, so do be careful. The boss may occasionally still face unexpected directions despite you drawing aggro and that is okay. So just keep using Monster Magnet whenever the skill's cooldown is up. After the zombie Mushmum is defeated, head to the left portal. Use Dragon Roll on monsters somewhere near the bottom mid of the map until you are level 17. At level 17, head up to fight the Toro Defender. Use Iron Wheel to grant a short iframe so that your party does not get knocked off. Use Monster Magnet to draw aggro again so that the other members can attack from behind the boss for full damage. Once the Toro Defender is defeated, you can proceed to the Abyssal Balrog. So at the start of the battle, the Balrog may use his breath attack that you see here, which is a super knockback skill. So use your Iron Wheel to iframe your party members if possible. Then. Use Monster Magnet to draw aggro as usual so that your party members can attack from behind. Whenever you see the boss use his breath attack again, try to use Iron Wheel to avoid getting pushed back. Once the Baro is defeated, congratulations, you've completed the PQ using the Warrior class. The Magician will be the Warrior's companion for the most parts. Attack the bottom lane with the Warrior until you reach level 5. At level 5, exit through the top left portal and proceed to the middle few lanes. Use your heal skill to defeat the zombie mushrooms until you are level 10. Once you reach level 10, you will be following the warrior closely, healing often because the warrior will be using dragon roar. Continue doing so until level 13 where you will fight the zombie mushroom. For the zombie mushroom fight, your focus is to keep the party alive through your heal. You can stay on the small platform as shown and the heal will reach party members in the near vicinity while also attacking the zombie mushroom. If you want, you can use Doom which is on your X key to transform the boss into a snail for some respite but I did not do so in this fight. After the zombie mushroom is defeated, Head to the left portal and follow the warrior, attacking and healing until level 17 when you will head up to fight the Toro Defender. In the Toro Defender fight, as magicians have no stuns, stay behind the boss but close enough so that your heals can reach everyone until the boss is defeated. It is most likely you will only be able to heal and not attack in this fight. Remember to use Doom to make life easier for everyone as well. Now, for the Abyssal Baroque fight, aside from heal duty, you need to watch when the boss uses his shields. When the shield is active, the boss gets a 90% final damage reduction, so use Doom to transform the boss into a snail and remove the shield. In this fight, you can also use Magic Claw to attack as the boss does not do damage often to speed up the PQ's completion. Also, note that attacks are not cancelled by Doom, just delayed as you can see in the video so do be careful. Continue the fight until the boss is defeated and you are done with the PQ. Okay, for those of you who prefer a more pictorial guide for this content, uh, I've also created one that is available on the link as shown. It will be on the description box down below. Uh, essentially, it contains uh, a quick summary of the different classes, what they're supposed to do, where they're supposed to go, uh, all in a very, very convenient a compact image. The problem being, I think the image is way too small to present it on video. I'm, I'm going to show it on video just for you guys to judge for yourselves. Um, I have no idea how small it is. I'm just going to put it there for the sake of it. But if you are keen to look at to look at or refer to the pictorial guide while you are doing the content, uh, feel free to check out the link down in the description box below. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide 
I can't believe I spent about four hours doing a voiceover for this video that lasted only 10 minutes. So I would really, really appreciate it if you guys just uh, drop me a like. This is probably the first time that I actually said it, but yeah, <laughs> just, just to acknowledge my efforts. All right. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for uh, watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.